Now we'll create the actual post of the page. And by post, I mean this image with a caption, a lead paragraph, and then some content with paragraphs and a block quote and a subheading and some more paragraphs. Okay, so back in our code editor, after our header element, we create a section element with the ID main, since this is our main section. Then we create a figure using the figure tag with the class figure. Inside this, we create an image with the source being an image from placeholder with the dimensions 800 times 600 pixels. We'll give it the classes figure IMG and then IMG fluid to make this a responsive image. We'll give it the alt text figure image. Now we want to add a figure caption, so we add the fig caption element with the class figure caption. Inside this, I'll just paste in some random text here as a description, and then we'll create one more paragraph, which should be the name of the photographer or artist, photo by artist name. Now we'll first create a lead paragraph, which is a P element with the class lead. Once again, I'll copy in some text here, like so. Now we'll create two more paragraphs. And I'll just cheat a little again and paste them in right here. So after our lead paragraph, we have two paragraphs. Then we want to create our block quote. So we add the block quote element with the class block quote. Inside this, we add a paragraph with some random text and then we want a footer for this para or this block quote. So we add the footer element inside of it with the class block quote footer. And then we just give it some text, first name, last name. This should of course be the name of the person which we are quoting. Okay, after this, I'll add in one more paragraph and then we'll create a subheading which is basically just an H2 heading element. Remember we have the H1 heading element up here in the top, in the very top, and then we can use H2 heading elements for subheadings, like so. Finally, I'll paste in the last two paragraphs right here. Let's save and have a look in the browser. I'll refresh. Now we see that we have our image. We have the figure caption, the lead paragraph, two paragraphs, the block quote element, one more paragraph, a subheading and the final two paragraphs. If we resize the browser window, we'll see that our image is responsive because we use the tag IMG Fluid. This is just as we want.